Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Rank 4 Spam. It begins. As I, your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei right now, will teach you about Rank 4 Spam. I had seen this in one of the comments, one of my previous videos, talking about I need help learning how to make Rank 4 decks. Well, don't worry, your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei is here and he will teach you how. And I will teach you how to make Rank 4 decks with the greatest of ease. And please remember, as your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei, if there's anything that troubles you in Yu-Gi-Oh! Please put it down in the comments and I will make a video about it. When nothing ruins the game plan. Okay, let us begin and move on. Now, we have four archetypes here that are essential for making rank 4 decks. We have Razio, Satellanite, and Time Thief Regulator. Looking at these archetypes, Razio, I think, will be coming near the end of this year and is the epitome of what we talk about in a great rank 4 deck. Nice! Okay, so looking at these three archetypes, and if we see Razio, we can see that it has a restriction there that for the rest of the turn, you can only special summon rank 4 XYZ monsters from your extra deck. So an extremely strong restriction. And with how Raziol as an archetype works, is that it seems all the whole entire archetype has this restriction. And they all have really strong effects, as we can see here, that allow us to immediately go into an XYZ summon as they seem to be one card XYZ summons. I don't think they're as strong as Zodiacs, but there you go. Anyways, it is imperative as you as a, as a new player into Yu-Gi-Oh! Looking into these three archetypes and facilitating them to be the core structure of your, of your rank four decks. And essentially looking at generic cards that have effects similar to this. Because effects that are similar to Razio, Sunlight, Night Vega, and Time Regulator are the building blocks and backbone of you as a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, newcomer anyway, in creating a great and fantastic Rank 4 deck. Let's move on to the next thing. Here we have it. We have three cards here that help with XYZ summoning or Rank 4 spam. One of those is Astral Karibo. Indeed, Astral Karibo is a staple and a must have for anyone who is interested in rank four spam. Indeed, it makes making XYZ summoning or rank fours so much easier, such so much better. And definitely I would recommend it to anyone who is building an XYZ deck or a rank four deck in general. Fantastic card, fantastic addition to any rank 4 deck to your rank 4 toolbox. That's really convenient. You have Zodiac Raptor. Again, fantastic card for those easy rank 4 plays. One card XYZ summon. This, did I say more? And finally, Daruma Dropper. A card extremely ahead of its time, allowing you to activate an XYZ monster's effect while it's in the graveyard by banishing it from the graveyard instead of detaching, making your XYZ monsters be free. Your rank fours are now free in their activation conditions. I like the word free. Do you know why? It means I can do silly things for no reason. Again, completely ahead of its time, and I would definitely recommend for you as a newcomer to slap this in your rank four toolbox. Slap it in the deck. Use a Foolish Burial to send the Ruma Dropper in to the graveyard to drop your opponent down to their knees as they lose to this card. You need to calm down with that. Give them that drop kick to the solar plexus in terms of effects. Fantastic card and don't leave home without these cards in your rank four deck. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next point. Now, you're going to need some rank 4s, some really good rank 4s that are going to help you in facilitating that really great, fantastic uh, rank 4 deck. We'll have Lightning Chidori. Remember to fill your rank 4 deck or XYZ deck 
with some level four wind monsters being able to summon Lightning Chidori. Lightning Chidori is absolutely fantastic. On summon, you just get to spin a card and its actual effect activates, you get to return a card again. So for just a summon and an effect, you get to spin two cards. There are no limits to the power of this card. One of the most powerful X rank force of all time, I would say is Lightning Chidori, aging like fine wine. Still extremely powerful, extremely great. Yes, yeah, sure, it can be negated, but let let it not be denied that this is an extremely powerful card. Let's move on. We have Tornado Dragon. Again, this is a card that's not aged so well, but I believe is is sort of okay. We have other forms of uh, removal for back row now, like Lightning Storm, which has come into the game, rendering Tornado Dragon completely and utterly pointless. We have then Zodiac Borbo. Again, putting this on top of any Zodiac uh, main deck monster, completely busted, completely broken. But don't be fooled. As a newcomer to rank fours as a whole, these are the rank fours you want to play. These are the cards. Now, maybe one of them with the Tornado Dragon has been power crept a bit, but that doesn't mean it's a bad card. It is still a fantastic card, still aged quite well, and definitely should be considered as a great rank four uh, toolbox. Great for the rank four spam. Let's move on to the next point. Oh yes, here it is. The card of truth. The card that has revolutionized XYZs as a whole. This card is Dimension Slice. Before we talk about Dimension Slice, or I talk about it as your Yu-Gi-Oh Sensei, first, let's discuss why this card is so powerful and, and unfortunately, it has not seen any play. First of all, Dimension Slice is the only trap card in the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh that can be activated the turn it is set. The truth you made him know. Yes, you heard that right. This is the only trap card in the game that can be activated the turn it is set. And all you have to do is simply perform an XYZ summon. Yes, it blows the mind, doesn't it, students? Yes, all you have to do is simply perform an XYZ summon to activate the turn it is set. It can have happened in the standby phase, whatever. Yeah, that's all that has to have been done. No, 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 no. Let me just, let me put it in perspective. It's not that you have to do an XYZ summon, it's that an XYZ summon was conducted. So an XYZ summon could have been done by your opponent on their, on your turn by them, and you'd still be able to activate it the turn you just set this card. Abs like it. Absolutely amazing, powerful stuff here, okay? And many of you would say, but, but Sensei, we have that Malice uh, archetype that's coming out next year, and they seem to have cards that activate the turn they're set. But here's the thing, here's the difference with those Malice traps with those Malice Traps in the Malice Archetype and Dimension Slice. Dimension Slice can be activated just because an XYZ Summon was conducted, which is such an easy way to activate something, it matters the cost might as well not be there. Whereas with the Malice Traps, you have to have banished, you have to banish a Malice card to activate it. It is not so free. It is completely cost efficient. And if you have nothing to banish, if you have no Malice card to banish, then you can't activate it the turn it is set. So, as it stands right now, and as it stands for the foreseeable future, and I think until the end of time, Dimension Slice is the fastest trap in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, and is specifically locked to XYZs and the Rank 4 Toolbox. Technically, you can play this in any... Um, XYZ deck, but for rank fours, it is absolutely insane and busted. I would recommend you to get this card. This card is extremely cheap, and if you're a newcomer to the game, do not be worried. This card is extremely cheap, 
extremely affordable and extremely available. It is an old card that is aged like fine wine. You can thrust, thrust into the card, and I'm telling you, my students, there is nothing better than activating Slice. The turn it is activated. Being able to just do all manners of nonsense, right? Sure, the effect on it may seem a little bit dated, but being able to just target a card and banish it, being able to activate three of them all on the same turn is absolutely insane. Sure, it can only target a face-up monster, but do not be fooled. This card is powerful stuff here. And look at what it says there. It is not once per turn. You know what this means? This means you can activate multiple copies of this card. Fantastic card. That's all I've got to say here. Let's move on. Moving on to this. We have these are for some other fantastic XYZ cards or rank four cards that you can have as a newcomer in play. One of those is Abyss Dweller. Again, Abyss Dweller is a very powerful rank four and has been considered by the community to be so strong that they want it banned as it's considered a floodgate. And a lot of times, because a lot of archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh, every single archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh now activates an effect in the graveyard. That's too strong. So definitely it's a card. If you're a newcomer to the game, grab yourself an Abyss Dweller as it's just aging like fine wine and keeps getting stronger the longer the game goes on. We have Time Thief Redoer. Again, very cheap card, but one of the best uh, rank fours we have in the game. Extremely versatile with that effect, extremely great. It does a lot, it dodges, it's it's fantastic card. What other rank fours are there? As we go to the next slide, we see Divine Arsenal Zeus. Again, this is a fantastic card as you can slap it on any XYZ in your main phase two. Fantastic card after a battle has been conducted, obviously. And if it is combined with Daruma Dropper, it means you do not have to detach two XYZ materials as you will have two activations and are able to do this again. The ability to be able to activate XYZs for free. Daruma Dropper, I would say if you're a, new, if you're a newcomer and definitely you are looking to make your rank four deck better or just make any general XYZ deck really, really good, Add yourself a Daruma Dropper. Drop your opponent down to their knees, my brother. You can't handle this power. My fellow students, drop them. Drop them. No mercy. You need to calm down with that. Anyways, let's move on to the next XYZs. We have um, Sky Typhon Crisis. Sky Crisis. Again, fantastic card. You can slap this on any monster right if you read that effect there again you can activate again the effect is fantastic it's summoning condition is easy but first of all and most importantly of all with daruma dropper you guessed it right let's drop that opponent drop them to their knees drop them and just win that game outright that's all i've got to say at this point let's move on to the last thing that i'm gonna say i believe about uh, rank fours. Okay, so we have here the conclusion. And so from everything that I've said here, as your Yu-Gi-Oh sensei, all I've got to say is, is that rank fours are the rank four spam toolbox or just rank fours in general are some of the most powerful XYZs in the game. Um, although we have been seeing rank twos being used, but don't be fooled, rank fours are where it's at. Rank fours are where the speed is at. And if you are looking to expand your rank four engine, these are the cards that I recommend for you as a newcomer to slap on and to get. Are they expensive? Mostly not. Now they will have gone to essentially cheap status because uh, fusion is definitely the most overpowered uh, mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh! is that getting support left, right, and center is being sped up. But anyways, you as a newcomer, these are the methods that you need to use or can so-called not use if you want to be free to make yourself a great rank four spam toolbox deck. Remember to uh, facilitate yourself 
with Daruma Dropper, as I strongly suggest. Um, strongly. I also want to say, get yourself some Dimension Slices, as those are great. It's a great trap card. Remember, remember, not only is it a tra great trap card, it is the only trap in the game that can activate the turn it is set by simply just performing an XYZ summon or by, by simply having an XYZ summon conducted. It's just busted beyond belief and somehow has not been able to um, be hit or limited in any way. It's a shame really, but it goes to show that XYZs or rank fours in general, there's a huge market here for abuse, a huge role here in Yu-Gi-Oh where you can just abuse your creativity can go to new heights. There are many ways for XYZs or rank fours to dominate the Yu-Gi-Oh landscape. And just because they don't dominate it now, my students, doesn't mean they won't dominate it in the future. Remember that when making rank a rank four spam, that it is about utilizing the effects that you have to the best of your abilities. Being able to make it easy and efficient as possible with the techniques that I've told, talked to you about in previous videos, but also with the cards that I've mentioned here. Some of these are just universal in creating, you know, the best rank four spam deck that is at your disposal at this very point in time. And that's all I've got to say about this matter. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.